Ratgen H2O here. Okay, we're back on to the O2 sensor discussion again. Okay, after getting numerous responses, uh, quite a few from high power H2O, I have decided to really take a, a look at this O2 sensor thing. Now, I have ridden my truck, I rode it last night for about 30 miles, maybe a little bit more, and there's my truck, it's pretty. And it was uh, running really well. I didn't get any uh, diagnostic trouble codes or anything like that. Uh, I know from past experience, if I take my map sensor and I lean the truck out too much, I do get a diagnostic error code saying that it's running too lean. But I didn't get that, so I'm assuming that I'm still within right parameters for it to be running. Uh, my power was good. I didn't get any backfires, no stumbles, nothing like that. Um, it felt just a little, little weak at ignitial acceleration, which tells me that I could richen it up a little bit. So my solution to that today, what I'm going to work on is I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this little small hole that I thought was such a good idea, and I'm going to drill it out to a higher size and then stick it back in and see where we go from there. Uh, as you can see, I work in sort of primitive conditions here. My workbench is a trash can. So I've gone ahead and pulled the uh, end O2 sensor extender out. Now it, the hole as it now stands measures at one quarter inch. That's a one quarter inch drill bit that's sticking in there. Now looking at this, I think that my next option up would be this 3 8 uh, 3 8 is a nice compromise between the half inch that the sensor itself is and this quarter. And I think I'm going to run that one day and just see what kind of results I get with that. Okay, we're back once again. I've got it drilled out and uh, hopefully you can see that. You can at least see the O2 sensor down in there now. I'm trying to hold it here in the sunlight where it can be seen. So I've got a lot more airflow than what I had, but I'm still pulled out of the direct airflow of the exhaust. So hopefully this is a good compromise. We'll see. I'm gonna run it for a day and we'll figure it out. Okay, I just got back from a uh, one hour ride around in my truck. Uh, city driving, stop and go. Uh, that's pretty enduring on the engine. It doesn't, it doesn't cool off real well. So you don't have a lot of air going across the the cell or anything and I've just pulled back in I want to go ahead and show you here my amps are running at 34 amps which is almost exactly what I set it up at yesterday right, I got my little temperature probe here I'm gonna put it on the middle of the cell here and Hundred eight point five, which is actually pretty good considering it's over 90 degrees out here today. So I think I'm doing pretty good with the cell. I think it's running good. Uh, my little uh, secondary bubbler is bubbling away here. It's doing really well. Uh, you can see that uh, this is coming out of the cell itself. Uh, that's just condensate moisture. Uh, it's not foam. And coming out of the secondary bubbler, is uh, even less than that. Now let me look down here in the cell. I've just walked back in, so let's see how much foam we got going on here now. Okay, that's not really foam. That's uh, just uh, electrolyte circulating. That's the uh, pump running and the electrolyte circulating. So the foam issue is gone with a lower concentration of electrolytes. And everything seems to be running pretty good. You know, I do a time trial here, but I can already tell you 34 amps, I'm gonna be right at about 2.2, somewhere in our liters per minute. That's just the history of the cell and that's where it runs. Uh, just a little postscript here, engine off, uh, no foam. Uh, you can see all the way down to the bottom of my electrolytes. Uh, that's my fitting at the bottom of the tank there. Uh, nice and clear. Previously with the higher concentration, that foam would hang around for an hour or so before it would start breaking up and dissip dissipating. So I'm happy with the low concentration right now. Okay, well I wanted to talk a little bit about my uh, modifications here with the O2 sensor. 
Okay, so I've gone and remodified the O2 sensor. I've increased the hole diameter to 3 8 inch diameter where it's touching the exhaust flow. Now, I just went and ran the truck for 45 minutes, not using the map sensor. My in-town readings for gas with my generator running were about, uh, averaged in with all my other mileage, uh, were about uh, 15 and a half miles per gallon which is my target for in town for this truck. That's a 50% increase over what I was getting before. So I'm happy with that. I had very good throttle response, uh, no lagging, no hesitation. Uh, I'm 99% sure though, if I can get this to have a little bit of vacuum on it, the uh, interior lines to have a little bit of vacuum, I'll be right where I wanna be.